So, hey, George, how you doing? Hi, I'm fine. Uh, nice we, to see you. We missed you at Bristol. We said we'd come and see you here oh, yes. in Sheffield. And uh, Rides on the Storm, you've got some more modules, right? Yes, you're right. Uh, this year, we introduced uh, our voice model, the SED CSM here. And now we, we came to the last prototype. And today I can introduce you to the, ah, okay. the last so version full here. Right. We just have some minor change with the lay layout of the front plate. But sound-wise, it's that what will be available end of the year in the shops. So maybe I tell you the short, in short the, the features. So we have here two oscillator sections with three waveforms here, pulse height modulation, individual for both. We have a free sub oscillator with different waveforms. We have a wave folder for the second oscillator. And we have sync. And also reset for each oscillator. Now we come, it comes to the mixer. The we can mix the individual waveforms, VCO, subs, VCO2. We have a ring modulator here, a noise, and an external in or LFO2 in. An LFO2 is also LFO and an oscillator ah. with a tracking for around nine octaves as well. It's very stable. So we can use this also as a third oscillator. They have a key tracking here, different waves, and a wave shaper. So it shapes like the DMO. The other model is shapes from the from the RAM to triangle to uh, All south right, so two. lots of cross mod possibilities. Yes. There, yeah. Or also uh, we have the pulse wide or pulse wide modulation and at least the random or step on hold. And it goes faster. We have a kind of noise as well. So it's a diff different noise than the analog noise here. Uh, it comes to the envelope generators. They're also loopable and are the same technology like the, the QEG. Look at the back, everything with transistor. Yeah. And have also two trigger outs for each envelope and a an slow and fast function can be controlled by CV. We can switch by CV. All the sections have also outs and ins and they're corresponding to the local destination here. So yeah, uh, it comes to the LFO1. LFO1 have one waveform, but also it goes into auto rate and have a key follower. Can be resetted by key trigger uh, or with free flow. And this is uh, responsible for the shape, for the shape of the LFO2 or shape of the or PVM of the oh first right, okay. or second oscillator. And there's a switch you can select. So it's like I internally normal. Yeah, so you can, right, it's yeah. normalized. But you can also go out the LFOs and can patch to each destination. So it's a pre pretty comprehensive synth voice then, yeah. It's quite complex. Then we go come to the VCF and the VCA. VCF is the same like the SED we have, and the VCA as well. It's a single ended discrete. And I have also an overdrive here. And we added a tremolo for the VCA. There's a dedicated wow, tremolo. Wow, there's a lot chip. of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in there, isn't there? There's a lot of stuff. You're exactly this. And uh, we have uh, single outs here, and also an insert for the uh, VCF and VCA, so to add an another filter. So it's playing. It's is it making noise? Can we hear some? Uh yeah, we can play a bit. So we heard the uh, through zero, nice. Now we make a bit pulse wide modulation. Audio rate pulse width is actually yeah. really nice. Goes into auto rate. Yeah. Then the subs with different waveform. Saw two triangle and two octaves below pulse. Then we have the second second VCO with the, the wave folder can be older. 
controlled by envelope oh, nice. or by elbow. We have a sink. Then we can we can modulate this. By envelope or by LFO or from external. I go back to the That's great, there's a lot I mean there's a lot of potential there. There's a lot of yeah. So now I bring Evan. We have a ring modulator. Oh, nice. The noise. And now the LFO in. I guess, I mean, you could run it polyphonically with enough TV inputs as well. So you could actually run it as a poly, uh, I guess, a poly uh, uh, you have paraphonic voice, right? Yeah, you have two uh, pitch in inputs. Or I would say more because the LFO, you have different pitches as well. Yeah, so three, three, a three voice poly. You have three, three, voice para, yeah. three independent pitch ins. Yes, you're right. So we come to the envelopes. We have a loop mode. VCA modulation. The same with the second. And uh, the overdrive. Slightly different behavior. Now it gets a, a little bit in the drive. Yeah, in and out, uh, we talk about, we have some jumpers at the back uh, to jump the LFO 1, 2, and the VCO got resetted with the key trigger or not, so we can right. start each wave from, from the beginning. 
Uh, yes, it, it comes out end of the year. The price point is around uh, 390 pounds. Wow, okay, that's good. I mean, because that's a pretty comprehensive board. But the only thing missing is an effects section. I yeah. Mean, it's got everyone else. <laughs> okay. Brilliant, cool. thank you very much. Yeah, welcome.